today, guys, I'm going to show you how to make a good, spicy Mexican meatloaf. Hang tight. Alrighty guys, today we're going to make a meatloaf with a little bit of a Mexican twist. What you're going to need is you're going to need a pan. I lined it with uh, aluminum foil. I'm using Pam Organic Extra Virgin Olive Oil. I'm going to spray my pan down. So my pan's ready. Preheat my oven to 405. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about the ingredients. First thing we're going to start out with is an egg. Beat the egg. Get these cloves open here. We're going to put a couple of tablespoons of minced garlic in here. You can add what you want. Some things I've already cut up just to save us time. I've got fresh organic tomatoes, jalapenos, banana peppers, green peppers, and onions. And I'm going to add this in here. Okay. I'm going to save some of this because I'm going to scramble these some eggs while I'm making all my meatballs. I've got a good western scrambled egg video out. If you want to watch it, I'm just going to mix all this together. Got my lean ground beef here. I'm going to add just a little bit of pepper to the meat, a little bit of salt. And you know me, I'm going to add a lot of pepper. A little bit of milk. It calls for a cup of milk. I'm going to put about oh, half a cup or so in here. This is half and half. It'll be fine. Set this over out of the way. Mix that up good. There's my mixture. Take my meatloaf seasoning. This is McCormick's meatloaf seasoning. We'll put it in there. I'll put all the ingredients down in the description. I'm going to mix all that up nice and get a good mixture here. And I'm going to take my meat. I'm going to use a pound of lean hamburger. Depends on how much you want to make. You can make two pounds, three pound meat loaf. Depending on how many people you want to feed. Now I'm just going to See, I'm just mixing it all in here. I've made a really good mess. But I'm getting my onions and my green peppers and my jalapenos, banana peppers, my seasoning sauce, my minced garlic cloves, and the egg all in a good mixture here. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dump it in my pan. Take my pan here. And I'm going to form just a little bit of a meatloaf. This is going to be good. You guys are going to love this recipe, trust me. I'm just kind of brushing this meatloaf into the size I want. I don't like it real thick because I like my meat to be real well done. You 
know me, gonna add a little bit more pepper. Final thing is, is I'm gonna use, some, I'm gonna coat it with Heinz sugar-free ketchup. Sprinkle a little breadcrumbs in it. And actually, I should have put the breadcrumbs in the mix before I did, so I'm just gonna mix this up a little bit. I love to cook. I love to cook my own food. I hardly eat out at all. You never know what you're getting in a restaurant. You know what you're getting in my kitchen. All right, there's my meat. Let me get this little tab off this ketchup. And put my lid back on. I'm just going to coat. Coat my meatloaf in this ketchup. This is sugar-free Heinz ketchup. If you don't like ketchup, you can leave it off. There we go. Now I'm just going to kind of smooth the ketchup out. Make sure you get it all over the meatloaf and on the sides. So it'll bake in there. And this is going to be to die for. Here's our product, ready to go in the oven. We're going to put it in the oven, probably 20 minutes, and then I'll check it, and then we'll go from there. So you guys hang tight. All right, folks, we've had it in there about 45 minutes or so, so let's see how it's good. Be careful, that stove is hot. Let's take our meatloaf out. Let's close our lid in case we need to put it back in there. Take our knife, and you want to cut something out in the middle. The edges are going to get done first. So we're just going to cut a little piece here, get a plate, all right, we've got it out, now let's see how it turned out, it looks like it's good and done, let's see. Oh man, this is to die for. Make this recipe over the holidays, and I, I promise you, you're going to be coming back and commenting on the video and say you loved it. I'm going to go eat me some meatloaf. Guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Leave some comments on our meatloaf recipe and things maybe you'd like to see us cook.